me crazy, bickering and name-calling and growling and snapping. It's crazy. What am I going to do? Well, hello there, Button. Haven't seen you in a month of Sundays. How have you been? Oh, hello, Mr. Sam. I'm fine, I guess. You guess? Well, now that doesn't sound so good. Oh, Mr. Sam, Miss Cupcake and Mrs. Sweetie have been arguing for days and days, and I'm going bonkers listening to them. Oh, well, now, I'm sure sorry to hear that. What seems to be their trouble? Oh, it all started over some little bitty old disagreement. Disagreement? Over what? I don't remember, and I don't think they do either. But then Mrs. Sweetie said that Miss Cupcake's hair would scare a human child senseless, and then uh, she should have it all cut off. And Miss Cupcake said, after you furball, you're uglier than a, a skunk anyway. And Miss Sweetie said, well, maybe, but um, I don't stink like one. And Miss Cupcake called her Miss Sweetie a floozy. Oh, my. This is awful. But... Uh, that's the way big arguments usually start over some little unimportant disagreement. And then, since it doesn't get settled, it just grows and grows like loco weed until it chokes out everything good and everything goes crazy. Well, what can we do to stop them, Mr. Sam? Well, I don't know. It would have been better if it had been stopped immediately when it started, like they did when the church was just getting started. Oh, well, what happened in the new church? Oh, it was right after the gospel had spread from just the Jews to the Gentiles. Some of the Jewish believers had a tough time changing from Judaism to Christianity. They pretty much thought Christianity was an ex extension of Judaism and that they were teaching that the Gentile believers must be Jewish first and keep all the Jewish laws. Others disagreed, seeing that the old law was only to lead people to Jesus and he, and it died with him, so uh, only the teachings of Jesus had to be followed. Oh, I see. And Jesus had only those two commandments, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, and if we really do love him like that, we do right and tr all the time to, to please him. And uh, if we goof up, and sometimes we all do, because of what Jesus did, we can be forgiven, so we can try again. So how did the problem get settled back then in the early church? Well, instead of a big argument, some of the churches sent representatives to Jerusalem, and they got many church leaders together to talk about it. Paul was there and Barnabas, and there was Peter and James and many others, and uh, they came to uh, the conclusion that the church did not have to follow the old laws, but only the teachings of Jesus. They sent believers with letters to all the churches uh, to explain their decision. Oh, that was a great way to solve it. That's what we should all do when someone says or does something that upsets us. First, pray about it. Usually that solves the problem right there. But if we're still upset, then we need to go to the one who upset us and talk about it. Most problems like that can be settled just like that. I'll remember. Say, Mr. Sam, uh, would you go with me to talk to Miss Cupcake and Miss Sweetie and maybe settle their argument? Oh, boy, I don't know, Ink. Getting between two angry females is not something that male dogs ought to do. That almost never comes out good for us. Well, but if they get in a fight, they'll both be kicked out of Mountain Rest and that would break Miss Amanda's heart to, to uh, lose Miss Sweetie. Uh, well, that's mighty nice of you to think of her, Ink, but I don't know. Oh, oh, buzzard bait. Let's go give it a try. Well, thank you, Mr. Sam. Oh, this I've got to see. No male in his right mind gets involved in female problems. That dog is toast. He's a lot braver than me. This is crazy. You suppose there'll be anything left of him? 
Let's go watch. This will be fun. Okay, maybe we can come up with some good tricks from it. Okay.